This is the Nomad. The Nomad Slim Bifold. It smells awesome. Keep watching. Welcome to Wallatopia. Please go to Wallatopia.info to register to receive notifications regarding new videos as they come out. Now, let's get into opening up the Nomad Slim Edition wallet. But first, I need to show you a picture, here it is, of how the package came. They put the extra effort into the shipping container which shows attention to detail and how they value customer perception of their brand as much as the wallet. Now, if we look at what we actually, which actually came to us in the package, we have two pieces. We have first looks, first looks like an information packet, so let's open it up first. All right, with this, it's very nice. Nice, uh, follows the theme of the packaging that we received in the mail. If we look at this, it has a nice additional envelope in here. If we get into this, I think we see a lot of propaganda, which isn't bad. All right, it gives us a nice little welcome packet with a bunch of freebies, stickers, and a welcome card. Very nice, I like that. Now, let's look at the box. If we look at the wallet box, we can tell it was designed to work in retail because of this piece up here as well as e-commerce. And we can see that it's a magnetic box as we open it up and we see we have a nice, very nice pouch here. The wallet, this is a nice, this is a great presentation. Let's open this up here. And so here is the wallet. The wallet is a brown color. This one does not have a tracking tile in it, which the company also has versions of. Right out of the gate, we can see the packaging uh, is, is very nice in this. And it has the smell, let's take a look. Has the smell of a veg tanned leather. And from the packaging, we know that this is from a Horween leather, which is from the tannery of the same name in Chicago. Now, you can cut leather to any level of thickness. And this was done very thin in this particular wallet. And we'll show you up here how thin cut this wallet is here. You can see over here in, in these slots. Very thin. Just so they could integrate all these pockets. The pockets, uh, if you look closer, the ones in the interior here show that they're le leather topped only right there. You can see that? With RFID lining the bottom. And this removes more leather, which keeps the thickness down. Now, the sewing on this is very nice. It's uh, backstitched and also has painted edges instead of burnished. You can see that right up here where it's painted. And really the way to tell is you put your finger in it, it leaves an indent there. That's how you can tell it's painted versus burnished. Now the pricing is $59.99. That's high, even for a wallet made of Horween leather and not including a towel tracker. We would think this should sell for probably around $40 to $45. Now, let's get to the features of this product. As we look at this product here, we notice that on the front, we have a single card slot. This can hold one to two cards comfortably. Great place to put your, your uh, bus pass, subway pass, access card to work, and so forth. If we flip it over, we don't have anything here on the back, but as we open it up, we notice that we have a lot of card slots here. On the right hand side, we notice that we have one, two, three, and four card slots uh, that provide us the ability of one, maybe two. It's very thin, and uh, we'll notice in the card and cash insertion test the limitations here. But this uh, back card slot is very deep, and we'll see that that's a great place to put your cash. On the flip side, we have two slots, card slots, one in the front, one in the back, and again, the uh, interior here is another great place to put cash within uh, this wallet. Now if we look at it, it is very thin uh, by way of its profile, which makes it really comfortable to wear uh, in your front pocket and have it there for you. And that are the, that's the features of this particular wallet. Now let's get into the card and cash insertion test. As you can see from the test, it can fit 9 to 12 cards, but by then it's starting to bulge. Card slots can really only accommodate 1 to 2 cards, actually some 3, between the two innermost back slots, slots which are here, which have the depth to handle cash. Now, usability is good, as it's very slim, very slim, and it has a great feel to it, and it's, the size is very well balanced, and you can feel the comfort that you'll have in the front pocket. Being Horween leather, this will gain a great patina to it and will just have a wonderful smell continually. It measures four inches by three inches by half an inch. 
Overall perception is high. With quality, the veg tanned Horween leather, the company has made the decision to pursue quality over cost. That's as much a brand, a brand decision as it is a product decision. The packaging is fantastic. The customer service and website are very accessible and well organized. They're headquartered in Santa Barbara, California, and you get a good feel from this company about who they are and what they try and do. And the company also provides tile tracking capabilities and has an extensive product line for traveling and outdoor minded folks. Now, with that in mind, let's get into the ratings of the Nomad Slim Bifold Wallet. For quality, we're giving it a four. For pricing, a two. It's a little high. Features a three, usability a three, and finally perception is a four. That gives us a final score of 3.3 out of five, or 33 out of 50. We appreciate you tuning in. Please subscribe, ring the bell, and come back often, look at our videos. Thanks, bye.